So when I tell you all where I went today, some of you may be pissed because I did not record in any of the stores, but I did find some goodies. So if you wanna know where I've been and what I found, stay tuned. All right, so I just recorded this whole video and missed and hit delete. And so I'm having to do it all over again. So now the nostalgia of opening these packages, I have lost that momentum. So I'm just gonna do the video. So I ended up this morning jumping up at seven something and the notion to head out of town jumped in my head and that's what I did. I got dressed, I got on the road, and where did I end up? Atlanta, Georgia. I wanted to get away from here, my local stores like Jacksonville, Florida, or Savannah, Georgia, or even here, Brunswick, Georgia, because I don't seem to find much. And even though I did find two fragrances recently, one in Jacksonville, one here, um, I wanted to see if I could get out and get lucky in a bigger city like Atlanta and see if I could find maybe a Creed, maybe a Tom Ford, maybe a Aqua de Parma or something like that. And that was not the case. So my first stop in Atlanta, Georgia, I stopped at a Burlington Coat Factory and a TJ Maxx. The TJ Maxx was where I went first. And the only thing I found at that TJ Maxx was Michael Kors Extreme Rush. And I'm not a huge Michael Kors fan in any way, shape, or form, although I do own a few. And being that I already opened this, uh, I think this one was $14.99. It's kind of hard to see, but that's what it was. And this is a 40 ml bottle. That's what it looks like. And I already sprayed it on the box. Now, the opening on this, I got a Perry Ellis 360 Red vibe. And if you know anything about Perry Ellis 360 Red, it reminds you of Aqua Di Gio by Giorgio Armani. Um, is it Giorgio Armani? Yeah. So, it has that freshness to it but this one has a little bit of spice which reminds me more of perry ellis 360 red is what i get in the opening um the dry down on this box it's almost like a shaving cream type smell it's not bad but you know i wasn't expecting much from michael kors anyway so that's my first find then next door, I went to Burlington Coat Factory and I found one that I actually found when I was in South Carolina a couple of weekends ago and I passed on it, but I found it again. This one was, how much was this? This was 20 bucks. Mercedes Benz Man Blue is what I found. And this one is sprayed also. And I asked Trey about this one when I found it in Carolina. Hilton Head, I think it was. Did this smell like anything? Cause I hate redundant buying. And he said, yeah, it does, but he couldn't remember what it was. And now that I'm smelling it, it actually does smell like something, but I have to dig and see what it smells like. But this does have a familiar smell. So in all honesty, I believe this was a redundant buy, but the bottle looks decent. I mean, it looks like one of them little key things or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of cheesy to me. 
but I think it'll look good on the shelf. It has a decent atomizer. It's nothing to like run out and go get. So guys, when you see this video, don't pretend like you gotta run out to the store and find this one because it's a redundant buy. You may already have something that smells like this. And once I figure it out, I will do a video and let you know what it smells like. So that was one purchase I got from Burlington. And the next one was one I've heard a lot of talk about over the past year or so. I have the actual intense version of Bentley Momentum, which is one of my favorites. But I found Bentley Momentum Unlimited. And I think this one was Which was this? The actual tag says $29.99, but what did I pay? Let's see if I the receipt here. It's the wrong receipt. It's in the car. Well, I can't remember exactly how much both of these were, but anyway, um, what do I get when I spray this fragrance? It does still have the DNA of this one, but to be honest, the intense version is more playful, more for somebody a little more youthful. This one is more on the grown up side. And I'm not saying that it's like a grown up scent. It's not as clubbish as this one may seem. This one is more subtle, subdued. It has that, I don't know if it's iris in this or what, but it has like a play doughy or a lipsticky kind of vibe to it. Kind of makeup-y a little bit. Even if that's even a word, makeup-y? Is that a word? I don't, I don't know. It's not bad, but I like the intense version better. And the last fragrance I found at another Burlington, because I didn't have any luck at any TJ Maxx, Ross, or um, Marshalls. Hold on. Here, I might as well get your opinion on something. <laughs> All right, so last but not least at Burlington, the last Burlington I went to, I found something I already had, but I'm running low in my original bottle and I found this one and it is Tommy Bahama Maritime. And this is one of those spring and summertime fragrances, aquatic, a little bit citrus, woody smelling. I actually like that one a lot. And I think this was also 20 bucks. And then last but not least, I found that Marshall's Arlo's Premium Beard Oil. $6.99 and these are the two oils and one of them is for a smooth and shiny beard and the other one is if you're itching then this is to rid you of the itch and my scent of the day was from Alexandria and it was Hasivaz. And this one lasted all day. I left here at like, I want to say like maybe seven something, eight something. And I got back at about what, nine something. So that was pretty much all day. And I can still smell it on my skin. So pretty good fragrance. Now let's get her opinion. I had some strips somewhere. Got a 
couple of strips here. I had some more. I don't know what I did with them. All right. First one, I'm going to let her smell is Bentley Momentum Unlimited. What you think about that? basic she says it's basic and i kind of said the same thing because i like actually the intense better which i've been had this one a long time now so <laughs> yeah so she likes the intense version better too i think the other one it leans more on the grown-up side and the intense one, the one I just let her smell that she likes, is more youthful, kind of playful a little bit. So, all right, that's that. And let's do Tommy Bahama Maritime. She likes it. Let's see what else we got. This guy. The Michael Kors Extreme Red. Yeah, I didn't even. <laughs> Michael Kors fragrances for me don't do too well. They don't perform well. Um, some of the smells are okay. They just don't last long. And let's do the Mercedes Benz Man Blue. No? No. I yeah, like I didn't care too much for it either. <laughs> it's okay. It reminds me of something else I have, but I can't remember what it is. I have to dig and see. That had a, you know me, a sweet stuff. It had a sweet smell for a second. Yeah. I mean, it ain't a strong sweet smell. It's, I think it's no, probably it's not, going to... It's not too bad. It don't smell like the little juice. It's probably going to be more like a, maybe a citrus or something. So this is what I had on the day. Alexandria's Hasivaz. This is one I said lasted me all day. Mm -mm. You don't like that? What? <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got for y'all. Um, Sorry I didn't record in Atlanta. Um, I should have, but I didn't. Maybe another time. It is what it is, guys. So I would hold up something to say here is to smelling great, but well, I guess I can't hold up these two because they do smell good. Here is to smelling great. Peace. Stay safe, y'all.